Hey guys, this is Aaron and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. Now this is part two to our little mini series of how to create a table view application. In the first part here, we have in the simulator, we created our table view and added our table cell and we populated it with three NS arrays for the images, the title and the description. Now what we're going to do in this part is we're going to add the navigation controller to enable us to push, um, push to the detail view. So how we do that in is go to into our main storyboard here into the interface. We're going to select it and we go to editor and we go to embed in and we select navigation controller. A number of things have just happened here which you can probably see. I'll make the project bigger. You can see it's added the navigation controller obviously and now we have a little navigation bar at the top. Now this means we are, you know, it basically enables us to push to new view controllers. And having the navigation embedded within the navigation controller means that we can easily push back or dismiss it and go back to our original view quite easily with no extra extra, you know, coding or effort on our half. So if I just simply click on here now and I typed in landmarks and we go to build and run. We've now added the title to our navigation control here. So we can now scroll up and down and you can slightly see the images going through the top of the navigation bar at the top with the nice kind of effect that iOS 7 gives. So as you can see now we've got the title selected up here. Now the next thing we need to do is then basically add our detail view controller. So to do that we're going to first create the classes for it. So if we go to right click here or control click and go to new file. Make sure it's an Objective-C class and like we've been doing before in the previous part one. This time we must select a UI view controller. And I'll simply name it Detail View Controller. Press next and create. Now let's add them up here. Now what we need to do now on the Detail View Controller is we want to add the uh, or display basically the um, images of all the three um, NS arrays, the images, the title and the description. So we need them to be you know, basically be displayed on the detail view. So we need to create the outlets for them basically. So under the interface here, we do at property space bracket and we do strong. We do a comma, we do non atomic, and then we do space IB outlet space UI label space asterisk and we'll name this title label and that with a semicolon. Again, we're going to copy three of them just so we can speed up the tutorial a little bit. Second one is description label and obviously this one is the image view. And make sure we make sure uh, we change the UI label here to an image view. Now so we basically added our three outlets in there. We also need to add a another NS array to enable us to display the content. So we going to add another um, we do get highlight the IB outlet and UI label and we simply type in NS array and we're gonna name it detail module. And now we jump into our table view dot h up in here, table view dot m, and we just scroll to the top here. And like how we imported our table view, we need to import our detail view just to make the table view aware that there is a detail view, and we're going to want to be using it. So now we need to scroll down, and just at the bottom here, we are going to create our own little void statement, and this will prepare to. Um, segue kind of thing. So we do dash bracket void bracket prepare for segue space 
bracket and enter. Then we need to do if in the condition bracket bracket segue identifier. The first bracket is press enter is equal to a string. So if the segue identifier is equal to we name it show details. So this is basically when we um, link up our cell now to our detail view, we're going to import our well, we're going to add this show details into the identifier just so when the prepares the segue, so we know which um, kind of push or which segue we're going to be using. So if it equals this, then it's going to basically do this. I'll explain more when we add it in the interface. So now we have a bracket there. And basically in these statements here, we do detail view controller space asterisk and I'll name it detail detail view controller there space equals space bracket segue destination view controller and that of a semicolon and then we're going to do ns index uh, path, there we go, space, asterisk, and I'll simply name it my index path, it's kind of easy there, space equals, space bracket, self, dot, um, table view, sorry, self dot table view, space index path for selection row, index path for selection row, and our bracket, and a semicolon. I'll explain in a minute what this all means. So now we do int row space equals space bracket. It's going to equal my index path space row in that array bracket. And again a semicolon. Now we do detail view controller, the uh, small one which we kind of class the name as dot detail module space equals space so the module is going to eat, um, basically equal the three um, arrays to um, kind of push with the view so we do at symbol bracket underscore um, start with title and we do bracket row and then a bracket and we do a comma now I'm just going to copy this here so you've got three of them, and I'll simply change this one to the description, and this one to our images. And then we end that with a, another bracket and a semicolon. Let's get rid of the comma at the end there. So now that we've done that, we need to that's basically set up the whole segue to push all our NS arrays and information within the detail module all the way to our detail view controller. So if I go to our main dot storyboard, and now I need to add a view controller. So a simple view controller. This is going to be used as our detail view controller. Now what I was talking about with the show details within our segue, we click on the um, cell here, and we right click or control click and drag, and then we select seg um, selection segue and we select push. You can see this has now got the link to it, and it also has the title link, the um, navigation um, bar at the top. So click on the segue here, and in the identifier here, we do show details. Nice and simple. So that's now linked up. So now when we go to prepare a segue, if the identifier equals show details, which this one will, which does, we'll then push all our information with the uh, detail module for the detail view. So we basically set up the push here. So now if I go to build and run. And we can select any one of our landmarks here. So we select the Great Wall of China, for example. And it pushes to our detail view. Now we haven't coded it or anything to do anything to populate the detail view. But all, you know, so all we've done this, uh, this part here is created the push to our detail view. So the next part, I'm going to be showing you how to populate the detail view 
with our free arrays, our image, title, and description. So again, I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. I hope this is going to be helping you create some brilliant table view tutorial as all applications. So if you haven't, make sure if you like the video, make sure you like it, make sure you favorite it. Make sure you comment if you want to send us a message, if you want to suggest any tutorials. Uh, make sure you like and favor us on Facebook and Twitter. And make sure you go check out all our apps, which are currently on the App Store. But again, if this video, you know, my, this little tutorial series is really helping you, make sure you like and favorite, as it really does help us out. But for now, that's all we got for this part, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.